What's up everyone? Welcome to Rex Engine. In this video we're going to cover charge attacks. So with charge attacks, think of something like Mega Man's Mega Buster or the spinning sword attack in Zelda, where you hold the button down for a certain length of time, and then a different attack comes out when you release the button. So I've got the player here on the stage, and I'm going to start by opening up their attacks section, and I'm actually going to get rid of all of their existing attacks. So if we test this, we'll see that if I press buttons, the player will not do any attacks. Um, so I'm going to click on the player, and I'm going to go to Tools, Rex Engine, Add Attack, Add Charge Attack. And so we can see this has gone into the Attacks object and added a new, a new attack here called Charge Attack. Um, so looking at this, there's a couple of fields that we want to we want to look at. We've got the initial attack. So the initial attack is when you first press the button. This is the attack that comes out right away with no delay. That's the initial attack, and if we look at that, we can see there's an attack. There's two attacks under Charge Attack. There's the initial and the charged attack. And those both have their own game objects with attack components. So the initial attack is slotted here, and that's going to come out immediately. And so we're going to see that represented here as like a tiny little pellet shot that's going to fire Mega Man style. So that's the initial attack. So now there's a list called charge attacks. And this list can have as many items in it as you want. Um, so if you want there to be multiple phases of a charge, each with multiple attacks, that's totally fine. Um, for this example, we're only going to do one. So we've got one item in the list, and that has, there's two things we can slot there. There's an attack slot, which is where the attack itself goes, and there's a charge time field. So this is how long you need to charge up the attack for this particular attack here to come out. So if I click on this attack, we can see that is the projectile charged underneath here. Um, and this is all slotted in by default when you click on that template option. So this is what's this is the baseline, and then you can change it as much as you want. So if we charge for one second, we should notice a bigger bullet come out. There we go. So you can change this, you can make it faster or slower or anything. Um, under this, we have Sprite to Flash. So you saw a second ago how when I'm holding down the button to charge the attack, the sprite is flashing basically the same way Mega Man does when you charge up the Mega Buster. So if you want to disable that effect, all you have to do is not put a sprite under Sprite to Flash. So if I have nothing slotted there, then we won't see the flash effect. So if we look at the projectile initial and the projectile charged, both of these are just regular attacks. They're set up exactly the same way any other attack in Rex Engine would be. And what that means is that if we want to change either of these, we can do that. Um, so for example, if I want this to be a slash instead of a bullet, um, I'll just delete the projectile initial, click on the player, go to Tools, Rex Engine, add attack, add melee attack. So this is going to give us a new melee attack. Um, I'm going to parent this under the charge attack. That's optional, but it's just there for organization. So I'll click on the charge attack, and it says we're missing the initial attack now because I deleted that first little pea shooter bullet. So I'm just going to drag our new melee attack into the initial attack slot. And what we should see now is that the first thing that's going to come out if I just press the button is a slash. And if we hold the button and release it, we still get that big buster shot at the end. And you can do the same thing for the charge attack as well. So for example, if you wanted it to be the first, the initial attack is a bullet and the charge attack is the one that's a melee attack, 
that's the exact same process. You would just put the melee attack in the charge slot instead. Um, so I'm actually going to put the projectile charged in the initial attack, so we'll have a really big bullet that comes out at first, and then if we charge it, we can do a melee attack. And just for the sake of making this a little clearer, let me put a sprite back in Sprite to Flash. There we go. Um, now, if we don't want there to be initial, an initial attack, so now there is no initial attack and there's only a charge attack. So this means if I press the button, just pressing it does nothing because there's no initial attack, but I can still charge. And if I charge it for more than a second, we release the wrench attack now. So you can do these in any combination you want. You can have an initial attack, so something comes out when you first press the button. You can have it only be charge attacks. You can have five different levels of charge attacks, so if you hold it for different times, different attacks come out depending on when you release it. So the option is completely yours. Um, so you can use that to make Mega Man style Mega Busters, um, things like Zelda's circular slashing charge attack. Um, basically, if it needs to be charged, this is how you do it. So I hope that was helpful, and I'll see you guys next time.